Welcome to another edition of Magic Friday. My name is Jamie D. Grant, as always. Uh, we have a bunch of new subscribers. Uh, yeah, kind of just a whole bunch. So I'm going to give you a little quick breakdown, so bear with me. If you're here from the time travel video, by the way, this show unfortunately is not for you. It's about magic tricks and you we're not really teaching anything, so you won't learn anything. So, sorry. Google Japanese Tetris instead and it'll be worth your while. For everyone else, uh, those of you that are new and joining us and are kind of curious as to what exactly Magic Friday is and you're a magician, uh, Magic Friday was created in 2006. I'm getting old. I used to be a bike messenger and I used to deliver envelopes to up to 50 different clients a day and everyone knew I was this you know, famous magician. And they kept asking me to do magic all the time and it just it got so annoying because I, I was trying to work. So I came up with the idea of I'll only do magic on Friday. I'll do uh, one trick for each client, all, you know, the same trick for every client all day Friday. And at the end, I'd write a review about how it went. And of course, it got quite popular and I ended up doing a video show for the last couple of years. So I'm no longer a bike messenger. I'm now a paramedic as well as being a professional magician, obviously. So, yeah, show it to doctors, nurses, co-workers, lots of co-workers, fellow paramedics. And that's it. I do one trick uh, the entire day. Can, I can do it up to like 40 times, believe it or not. It's crazy. And uh, I write about how it goes. Someone asked who Angry Bob is. Angry Bob is a co-worker back at the Courier days who I actually still go and see just so I can get an angry, angry Bob rating. And Angry Bob's uncle was a magician. And so he, he kind of has a slight knowing of magic. He kind of, you know, he knows what a TT is, for example, but he doesn't go out and learn magic tricks. But he's very angry, hence Angry Bob, and he's grumpy and he loves to bust me. And, uh, yeah, it's under your shoe. So, uh, an Angry Bob rating is good if it fools Angry Bob. And when you fool Angry Bob, he gets very quiet, which is lovely. Okay, this week, uh, let me just pause for one second. I'll be right back. I've returned, don't ask. This week, drama, intrigue, controversy. Whoosh. Yigel Masika's Electric Touch Plus. So, everyone, I need to be very clear here. Magic Friday isn't about are tricks better than other tricks? Um, because I'm doing this for my clients and you know friends and coworkers, Magic Friday is just about does this product work on that day? You see, I think someone commented that, you know, you like so much magic, it's impossible. Well, I only show good magic to my friends. I'm not going to bust out anything that's, uh, that's terrible. And, you know, it, are some tricks better or worse than others? Absolutely, but that's not what Magic Friday is about. Magic Friday is about how did this play on Friday? And, yeah. And I only write good reviews, by the way. If uh, something goes wrong and it, the trick fails completely, I don't review it because I don't believe that a creator should be blamed if I made a mistake. You know, if I'm... <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> Why should the creator be blamed? So unfortunately, if you're looking for negative reviews, this isn't the place. I only, uh, I only review the good ones that went well. Luckily, I've been doing this for so many years that I know what's going to play and what's going to do well. So it's very rare I have a bomber. And this was not a, a bomb. It was, it's awesome. Um, I know some of you might be surprised to hear me say that because it does have some controversy. Uh, let's, let's talk about it. First of all, Magic Friday split into uh, some very succinct sections. What the audience sees, how it went, the difficulty, Angry Bob rating, JDG tip and closing thoughts. So let's just talk about what the audience sees. Um, the audience sees is this. This is actually in the easiest Magic Friday I perform because I'm not going to do anything. My routine on Friday was I, I don't hypnotize people. I'm not a hypnotist ever. Never done it. It's interesting, but I've just never done it. But I love the premise of hypnotism. For some reason, People believe, really believe, that uh, in hypnotism. I mean, you know, I, as they should, I guess. But they're they're really, how do I say it? They're 
they're more likely to believe they were hypnotized and did something crazy than, you know, a monkey appearing from a hat. Like they just believe that they could see that before they believe that it actually happened. Did that make any sense? So my premise on Friday was Magic Friday. How are you? Awesome. Listen, I'm going to hypnotize you. Don't worry. I'm not going to have you do anything crazy. I'm just going to take away some of your power. I've got a quarter here. I'm actually going to take away your strength, your ability to lift that quarter from my hand. Don't ask. It'll be interesting. You'll like it, I think. Ready? Here we go. Three, two, one. Hypnotized. Go ahead. Lift it from my hand. They go in to reach. And they got a static, they get that shock, you know, like when you have a static shock, like when you rub your feet on the carpet and touch someone. That's what they get when they touch the quarter. Okay, so <laughs> we're going to talk about how it went in a second, but this is, so this is what the audience sees. So they, they're going to take with her. Everyone touched it. They immediately withdrew. No one, not one person all day actually picked up the quarter. And then they start laughing. They, they, every, every single person start laughing. And then I would say, what happened? And they mean, what do you mean? It, you shocked me. I say, I didn't, I didn't do anything. You touched the quarter and it, the, the quarter is not shocking me. So if it's shocking you, I, I didn't even hear anything. You have a really strong imagination. I told you, you wouldn't be able to pick it up. And that's kind of how I played it all day. So let's talk about how it went. Some people believed it. Some people like believed that they, they questioned whether they actually shocked themselves or whether they were hypnotized. I know it sounds ridiculous, but some people believe that they were hypnotized and I was in your back. Did you feel you told me that you were shocked, but I, I don't think you were. It, you can really play head games with people, especially when I'm not getting shocked by holding this quarter. So when they get that static shock, and then I can say there's no, there's nothing here. It really plays with their minds. Other people just didn't care. They just got shocked and they just laughed, and it was just laughter. And I just said, "And you're back. We'll just that's that's too dangerous. We'll just put this away." Okay. It. <sighs> I chose my spectators wisely. I know there's a lot of controversy of what, you know, shocking people. What is that like? How much does it hurt? And my question to you is, is a shock pain? I kind of had this conversation and someone said, yes. I'm, to me, it's more surprise. Like, is it actually, does it hurt? I mean, I guess it, it's hard to describe. I mean, obviously we've all been shocked by it before, you know, with, you know, the carpet. And I don't personally think that it's, you know, it's not like, you know, you're breaking your arm or something. So that said though, I chose my spectators wisely. I always chose guys and you know, they were in healthy guys, basically was every spectator I chose was a healthy guy. I didn't picture any, you know, I didn't do it to any old person or young child or someone, you know, I'm having chest pain, but I'd love to see a magic trick. I didn't do any of that. And let me warn everyone right now, don't go shocking people, you know, hooking up car batteries. You know, Jamie says it's a great idea. I'm waiving all responsibility. However, it's awesome. The, the thing that I love about it is that you don't have to use it. Like it's when I'm doing, so I do a ton of walk around gigs. Like, you know, I work a lot. So the thing that's great is that I don't have to use it. It's almost like a secret weapon that I can just use at any time. And for those of you that don't know what, what it, how it works, I can't really tell you obviously, but at any point I can charge this quarter. As crazy as that is, I can charge this quarter. To, to deliver a, a static shock. That to me is worth its weight in gold for those moments. Just where maybe it's a private moment. Maybe there's a heckler. Maybe there's, you know, maybe you just need to change the mood. I can do it at will. At will. Fantastic. So lots of questions. Is electric 
Touch Plus better than Electric Touch? Can't answer. Sorry, I'm afraid. I just can't tell you because I never had Electric Touch. All I can tell you is Electric Touch Plus uh, worked exactly as it should. It was easy to set up. There's two ways to set it up. You can kind of do the super fast way or you can do a professional way. Uh, I did the super fast way and it worked exactly as it's supposed to. Uh, it didn't misfire. I don't even know if it can misfire. It didn't, it didn't not work uh, the entire day. Uh, yeah. So is it better? I, I wish I had the old one. All I know is this one, fantastic. Is it wrong to shock people? Uh, uh, we're getting into some weird territory. Would I punch a spectator in the face? I've wanted to, but no, I wouldn't. Would I push someone down the stairs? No. Would I let them be shocked? Yes. As long as they're not 80 years old. Like, if you use common sense, absolutely. I've been, you know, static charge, you know, fire. I did it. I did it. And I, and everyone, no one was upset. You know, and of course this comes back to, you know, choosing your spectator, right? You're not choosing the, you know, the guy that has anxiety and, you know, he's weeping as he's picking a card. You know, you're picking, you know, fun, healthy people. And every single person laughed. I don't know if it's, uh, if any of you have ever watched Jackass. Is there something funny about shock and pain you know i don't know why it's just don't want to be sexist but maybe it's just a guy thing it's just sometimes we just find it funny and all day yeah people would touch it they'd break out laughing and lots of people would say you shocked me and then my line is i didn't do anything i i think that was the hypnotism because nothing is shocked here if it was shocked i would have shocked myself you have a very powerful imagination. And that's my JDG tip. That's, uh, that's the line that I used. It took me about 15 times before I got there, but that, I thought that was the greatest line was, you have a very powerful imagination. I told you you wouldn't be able to lift it up, but let's move on. And then I did, I actually did something else. I should also, uh, I should also mention that this, this effect kind of, for me, it, it, it's a lead into something else. Like I just didn't, I didn't end. I actually had a deck of cards, just did a quick card trick. It established power, I think is how I can best describe it. It kind of just established, uh, what the, just, it just takes the mind and just puts it a little difficulty. There is no difficulty. Uh, no. I don't think there's any difficulty. It's completely, there's no sleight of hand. I mean, if you can do this and uh, you know, that's pretty much it. Okay, how it went. It was, it, <laughs> the, how I can describe how it went is it was just really fun. It was just a fun day. I don't know. Uh, what the audience saw, how it went, difficulty, JDG tip. I did not see Angry Bob, unfortunately. I know everyone's probably dying to know if, uh, if I shocked Angry Bob. Unfortunately, I did not see Angry Bob. <laughs> I can't wait to see Angry Bob. Um, but yeah, I think it's a magician fooler. I mean, there's no, if, if you came up to me right now as a layman and said, hey, did you know I can make this stat? Like I would have, how on earth could you do that? I have no idea. There you go. Okay, hope that's it. Magic Friday, Electric Touch Plus. I waive all responsibility, uh, but I'll tell you I loved it. It was a great day. Fantastic, okay, that's it. How much time are we at? Oh, this is a long one. People say I ramble. God, what can I do? It's who I am. I can't change who I am. I'm, I'm a rambler. Sorry for talking so long. Thanks for watching. Hope you got some little Magic Friday history. If you have any questions, Comment below and thanks for watching. See you later.